I am an intern working in Lexus and Company, and my topic of presentation is legal bonds. So, legal bond is an agreement between a person who has a responsibility and a, a person uh, and the other person who pays to fulfill that obligation or duty. If the uh, person who uh, fails to perform the duty, uh, then he has to compensate uh, the uh, other person, other party. Uh, so it uh, the bond gives the reassurance uh, that the uh, party will fulfill the duty and if not then the compensation is available uh, to the other party. Uh, so uh, there are four kinds of bonds. First is court bonds, second is a shorty bond, third is appeal and bail bond and fourth is judicial bond. So court bonds is a uh, Paid by the uh, court uh, to the uh, per, uh, person who brings in a, a court uh, action in court. So it is divided into the fiduciary and judicial bond. Uh, the uh, difference between the fiduciary and judiciary is uh, judi judicial is that fiduciary is the one who have the promise to fulfill a duty, and judicial bond will pay the sum of money if. Uh, uh, he fulfills the duty. Then comes the shorty bond in which three parties are involved. First is the contractor, second is the customer and third is the shorty. The shorty uh, uh, is on behalf of the uh, con contractor and he is the assurer that the contractor will perform the uh, his duty. And if not, then the shorty has to compensate on the behalf of the contractor and uh, then uh, in, uh, it is different from the insurance policy, but in some case, some transactions, the, uh, uh, there, uh, there uh, is a requirement of insurance uh, which will specify the uh, a particular procedure and the uh, contract to be performed within a specified date. So the shorty bond uh, is uh, divided into three kinds. First is performance bond, second is split bond. And third is payment uh, bond. So performance bond uh, bonds ensure that the uh, the uh, performance is fulfilled accurately with a timely uh, limit and according to the conditions provided. Then there is a bid bond that the uh, work or project or performance which is given uh, is paid according to the bid, not lesser than the bid. It should be, it can be uh, uh, more than the bid or uh, according to the original bid. It shouldn't be under bid. Then comes the payment bond, which ensures that the contractor will pay the men and the subtractors involved in the project and also he will um, look after the uh, owner of the project in case a non-payment occurs. Then comes the appeal and bail bonds. Appeal uh, bond goes to the losing party to execute a judgment until the appeal is, is going to go towards the higher court of appeal. Then a bail bond is uh, uh, used by someone who is accused uh, to guarantee the appearance in the court when they are called upon. Sometimes a bail bondsman or an agent uh, promises to give up a sum of money on behalf of the person who is accused because uh, the uh, uh, sometimes the accused person is unable to pay the sum of money to appear in the trial so the, uh, the bonds uh, man uh, gives uh, man, uh, the sum on behalf of him then comes the judicial bond uh, judicial bond uh, is given by the litigant to the court or to the opposition uh, government uh, or judicial uh, body for any loss suffered during the lit litigation or the legal process. So the bond uh, often is used in the civil uh, proceedings and it makes sure that the person is uh, protected from the potential losses that can be suffered from the court's decision. So judicial uh, bond is divided into plaintiff and defendant bond. Defendant bond stops a plaintiff's action to satisfy the claim, their claim, and uh, it often pro protects the defendant and 
uh, gives uh, gives uh, the opportunity to have uh, the to the defendant to have the control over their property so thank you this was the presentation on legal bonds